My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven in 88 Steps. And today is day 53, and it's just doing the same thing every day. We're asking ourselves, what is it that I want to do with my God-given life? And what would God want me to do with my God-given life? And as we were talking about the last few days of yin yang, good, bad, do it or don't do it, karma, it's just once again not, it's just a word. And we're just going to be, if we do something, there's a result. If we don't do something, there's a result. There's always going to be an action. You do it or you don't. This is the action. You don't do it is an action. It's a choice. It's a thought. When we start actually being aware of our thoughts, our choices, our decisions, karma comes in and smacks us in the face instantly because we're aware of what's happening. When we know what's right and wrong, we feel it right away. And when we are being honest and we're taking our bricks and we put it in our notebooks and we're taking all that time and effort, because we're serious, we don't have time to use excuses and blame and justify why karma is happening in our life. It just happens instantly when we're aware of it. When we're completely unaware of our thoughts, our patterns, and how we live our life, karma doesn't mean anything to you. Once again, this is not the word I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the philosophy of it. I'm just using it as a word that we can all agree on. We know what it means. You do this, and there's going to be a reaction. When we do something good, a lot of times we want instant gratification. I want my karma back now. And this is not why we do good things. You do those type of things with your bricks. You do those type of things with your notebook. You do those things with the consciousness of your head. You do that with knowing that if you keep doing it, you will have a reward of a stronger mind, a happier you, a more confident you, a person that's living their life in a more harmonious way, right? I mean, you expect that kind of a karma but we can't always expect it as we've been talking like this. I mean, we don't earn it right away. We haven't been tested yet. We haven't learned how to handle the different keys to the car yet. Uh, everything's baby steps and karma's the same way. Just because you can have an action and get the karma right back in your face and you go, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Is that now a life-changing event? that you no longer do it ever again? Probably not. I mean, who's, who can be perfect? And that's not what this is about. It's about being honest with yourself so that when karma does show up, it knows how to guide you in the right direction. Our notebooks will show us that, right? We'll see the patterns. We'll have our intentions. We'll know why we're talking to others. Are we trying to influence them and take advantage of them? I mean, right? We all have an intention of what we're doing, correct? Especially now, we're bricklayers. Of course, we have intentions. So some people, they aren't always aware of them being bricklayers themselves. It's very easy for an outside person to come into your life and then influence you and have them you do what they want you to do without you realizing it we've all been suckered into you know a scam or buying something we didn't want to buy or felt pressured by somebody else to do something 
you know, I mean, this, and it will happen again in our lives. So that's the balance that we're trying to do. When you have your focus, when you have your intentions, and you realize that your actions have instant karma back in your life, if you're aware of it or not, but then you're aware of it, you start to actually enjoy the journey again. I have uh, migraines and get them periodically. And it's funny how there's a certain point in time now that when they happen and there is a suffering period, I've learned how to actually be grateful, this might sound silly, of having it. Because any person that has a migraine, uh, is a migraine sufferer, you know that it doesn't just gradually stop. It's just all of a sudden you're just like, oh, you just, you wake up and you're like, oh, it's gone. And you've got this new, fresh energy. You have this new sense of you're grateful <laughs> for not being suffering. And you do things instantly. You, you, your food tastes better. You're, you know, so, you know, it, I, I can see how this is the journey sometimes, the suffering, the pain, the karma of our actions are part of uh, teaching ourselves and it's up to us to learn it am i mistaken do you have somebody around you that just constantly looks over and tells you what to do and how to be and stuff well they're probably not doing it for your best interest leave that to other further discussions but uh when we know what's right and we know what's wrong, and we make those kind of decisions in our life, we can definitely see that kind of a rebound reaction that happens. And sometimes if we keep putting it off, it kind of can take like a, many years for it to come back to us. Or if we start worrying about how it's applied to other people, like, well, I know that person's not a good person and they are blah, 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 and look at all what they get and they just keep getting more and more. Don't worry about them. Again, it's the, the karma works in weird ways. It's there for you to be showing yourself to not be jealous of them or not to be worried about them or look at it in a different new way, in a sense, okay? So keep plying those bricks because, again, it opens up doors that makes us think ways that we might not have thought before. And remember that your actions do have results. And if you have a great intention and a great focus and a great dedication to your notebooks and you keep applying your bricks and you keep seeing your highway built behind you, there will be a result. It's up to you. Is it going to be a good one or a bad one? I pray for you and I pray for America.